It was uh, 47 years ago this week that the Edmund Fitzgerald went down on a lot rougher day than this one. I'm not a native son of the Great Lakes, but uh, that disaster has always had a powerful hold on me thanks to the way that uh, Gordon Lightfoot made it immortal. It was the first song that I learned how to play on the guitar. I suppose some would argue that the first song that you learn to play is the reason that you learn to play. Uh, so in memory of the 29 on the fits, here it is. The legend lives on from the Chippewa down of the big lake they call Getchagoo. The lake it is said never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron or 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and crew was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side Coming back from some mill in Wisconsin As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland And later that night when the ship's bell rang could it be the north when they've been feeling? The wind and the wire made a telltale sound And a wave broke over the railing And every man knew and the captain did too was the witch of November come stealing? The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait as the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. Supper time came, the old cook came on deck Saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you At 7 p.m. a main hatchway caved in He said, fellas, it's been good to know you The captain wired and he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril And later that night when his light went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they'd have made white fish bait if they'd put fifteen more miles behind her she might have split up or she might have capsized they may have broke deep into water and all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters Lake Huron rolls superior saints in the rooms of her ice water mansions. Oh, Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. And farther below Lake Ontario takes in what Lake Erie can send her. And the iron boats go and the mariners all know that the lakes of November remember
In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed In the Maritime Sailors Cathedral The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times For each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down to the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Very early said, never gives up for dead when the gales of November come early. 